Hi, I'm Dominic Maximini. I'm a Scrum coach and professional Scrum trainer since 2011. And today we will be talking about is Scrum the right tool for you or not? The reason for that is that during my trainings and consulting engagements, very, very often I encounter people asking exactly that question. This is part one of a two-part series. We will explain the Stacy chart right now. All models are wrong, some are helpful. Now this model is usually referred to as the Stacy model, even though this is not entirely correct. Ralph Stacy created a very similar model, but he abandoned it a while ago. And Mike Beadle and Ken Schwaber in their first book, they built upon it. So that's why it's still called the Stacy chart. This chart is structured with three dimensions. The first one is requirements. So about the what are we building. The second dimension is about people. So who is building that? And the third dimension is about technology, the how we are building something. The special thing about the third dimension is that it's not just a technology choice, like are we using programming language A or B, it's really about how are we tackling the problem. The scale is always the same. On the low end, it's about absolute certainty. So in terms of requirements, you're absolutely certain that you know everything before the start and that it won't change throughout the course of the project. On the far end of the scale, it's always you are far from certainty. So in the terms of requirements, you have no clue what you will be building. This is true for all three dimensions. And the model continues. There are four quadrants in that model. The first one is called simple. It's defined as basically everything is known. So you know what has to be built, you know who builds it, you know how to build it. The second quadrant is called complicated. It is characterized as there's more known than unknown, but there is some stuff that is unknown. The third dimension is called complex. It is described as more is unknown than known. And the fourth quadrant is called chaotic. Basically, nothing is known. Now you know this model. Thank you for watching. Tune in for the second part where I start to explain how you can use that model in order to answer the question, is Chrome the right tool for me? Thank you.